Hey guys, it's Gary. Welcome back to Thrifty and OKC. If you are joining me for the first time, I am a part-time reseller and thrift store junkie who lives in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And I like to share with you guys some of the stuff that I find. One of these days, I probably need to do a what sold video so you know that I do actually sell things and I don't just hoard up everything because all I ever do is haul videos, which is what I'm going to do for you again today. So I went to garage sales yesterday um, and garage sales on or, and the flea market today and surprisingly did not find a lot um, at the garage sales yesterday for sure. There were a lot of neighborhood garage sales as it's starting to warm up a little bit, but it's really hard for me to go on Friday because I work a full-time job. So usually if most of them started on Friday, they're kind of picked over by the time I get, I get to them. On occasion, I'll have good luck or I'll find quite a few where people just started on Saturday, which is awesome, but that was not the case this weekend. So we hit up a few neighborhood sales, but most of them were really picked over by the time we got there. So we didn't get a lot, but we did get a few things. I'm going to share those with you and I'm going to share some of the stuff I got at the flea market as well. So the first thing I was going to show you, I did get some of these little Halloween um, vintage cut out things and I paid 30 whole cents, which is a really weird price, um, totally random for these, but I thought they were cool. They're not in mint condition. They do have some bins, but I love the vintage Halloween. So, and then I also got these two big owls and their necks have bins in them. And again, they're, you know, they've been loved, but that's okay by me. So I picked those up and those will go along with, I have a, uh, I'm trying to get more vintage Halloween. I have a lot of vintage Christmas, but vintage Halloween's a little bit harder to find. So then I also picked up at that same garage sale, these cute little Mickey Mouse popcorn bucket. And then there were three, probably originally there were four. There's a Donald, a Goofy, and a Mickey. Uh, I don't know, I didn't look it up. Maybe there were only three, that seems weird, but you never know. So I got this one for a dollar. Yeah, there's a mini there. So my guess is there was probably a mini, but there's only three of us in my family, so that works. Ooh, it's a dog hair. They had a great Pyrenees. That was beautiful, but boy, that thing was shedding everywhere. So those will obviously have to be washed pretty, pretty well. So I also picked up, this was at a different garage sale, this soft Frisbee game. I got it for 50 cents, and this will be, let me peep up over there maybe. This one will be a keeper for us. My eight-year-old loves to play outdoor games, so I'll open this up and set it up. And we'll take it when we go down to our trailer or set it up in our backyard for 50 cents. Can't go wrong on that. I also picked up these. I got some dirt on these. Champion little sweatpants. These are also 50 cents. And these are um, a size small. I honestly am hoping, and they have a little bit of staining on them, but I'm hoping they might, hoping, I'm hoping they might be lounge um, appropriate for my very tall, child who is getting up in size and the waist looks like it might maybe they were women's I don't know but it's not a super big waist so he can always use the jogger ends to squish them up so snatched those up and then at that same sale I picked up this champion zip front jacket it does have a little spot on one sleeve that's tiny and that I will probably try to get out and then this will likely go up in my Poshmark closet. Oh, there, there it is. It's just like a little bitty spot right there. This will likely go up in my Poshmark closet. Um, I did try it on, thank God it was a little bit too big for me because I do think it's really cute and I might've tried to keep this one. So then I think that's it for garage sales. I mean, it was really pretty slim picking. Everything else, oh well, I did go by and then everything else will be from a flea market. This is the last thing. I did get this Kodak box. We have a lot of vintage cameras that we collect. And this one just had a lot of films, film rolls in it. Um, some of the older looking. And these are really nice, in my opinion. Some of the old. That has film in it. I can't get it open though. Ooh. Ugh, ugh, nail, it's like nails on a chalkboard or something. Um... Anyway, these look really cool, just stacked in there kind of to give you something else to look at other than just the cameras. So I grabbed this from the Habitat for Humanity Restore. And I always mention on my video a lot, um, on my videos, a lot of people think that 
The Habitat for Humanity only has like house building supplies, but everyone I've ever been into has a thrift store section where regular donations come in and they sell. Um, and I tend to find pretty good stuff there and they're not priced crazy. Again, most of the ones I've been in, I have been in one that was a little bit crazier priced in Norman, but most of the ones in Oklahoma City are pretty well priced and um, we love to go there because it's just a hodgepodge of stuff. And you can also, I mean, obviously get things for your house there too as far as paint, um, you know, wood floor, stuff like that, but just don't count them out because they do have a thrift section that a lot of times has some really cool pieces in it. So now we're to the flea market, which is where I went today, and I felt like I had some pretty decent luck there. Um, of course, I got some jewelry, but I did pick up a couple of clothing items. So this is the first, it's a little pair of elastic waist pants in this fabulous tropical print. I'm really torn on these, y'all. And if you guys resell, I know you know my pain on this. These are new with the tags. Um, they are polo. They were $198 um, regular, but I love them. And I really, really feel like I need to keep them, even though I know I could probably sell them and make a decent amount of money. Um, on them because they are a really nice print and they're lightweight and they would be great for summer. But I don't think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to keep them. Um, and it'll be part of my uh, work wardrobe while I, on the three days that I work from home right now, throw it, pair it with a denim shirt and I'll be good to go. So I picked those up and those were three bucks. And then I got this cute little dress here. Again, just a little throw and go. This is for me, not anything for selling. I may have to cut these pockets out. I hate pockets on dresses because they're always at the most unflattering spot for my body type. They just make my hips look ginormous. Um, but they're easy. Pockets are always easy to cut out and stitch the seam closed. But just a little lightweight dress. I did like this one because it is lined. And so you will not be able to see through it as you can a lot of cream and white dresses that are lightweight in the summer. I also grabbed these mini Tonka moccasins. This is thanks to my friend Tracy who runs um, Golly G OKC and she is a thrifter, treasure hunter, just like I am. Um, and she also sells on Etsy um, and she really loved these, but they were not her size. So I took them <laughs> basically. Um, I didn't take them, um, but they didn't fit her. And I told her, well, she didn't know if they didn't fit her cause she didn't try them on, but I told her I'm going to pick them up. And if I can't find anything to wear them with, then I will pass them back to her and maybe she can wear them in the winter with a thick sock or something. If you have never worn mini Tonkas, these are extremely comfortable, but they can also be really hot um, just because they are suede. And so I, I've, I've only worn the boots. I have not ever worn the shoes, but I mean, these are in great condition. So that'll be something new for me. And then of course, like I said, I had to pick up some different jewelry pieces and I'm sorry, I know I keep disappearing. I've got my bag down here. Um, because I never leave the flea market without jewelry for the most part. Because most of it's like a buck. And so I feel like, I mean, how could you go wrong with something that's a dollar? I mean, I, you know, could be a quarter. That would be better, but for a dollar. So you guys know if you watch me, I collect wooden um, jewelry. I love the wooden necklaces. I do have a zebra bracelet that these will match. So I picked these little zebra wooden earrings up for a dollar. And then I thought these were really cute. I think they are vintage. I don't know. I'll have to do a little research on them. Just some little geometric 80s looking plasticky earrings. Also a buck on those. Then this is the lady that I see out there a lot. And her name is Air. And she is friends with my friend Tracy. And she always has some great jewelry. And again, she's great price. Um, she likes to buy it, so she always says, I gotta sell it because I like to go out and buy more <laughs> of it. And I understand that, that's how I feel too. But I picked up this beautiful brooch. It can go, I'm not sure you know exactly which way. Maybe that way, I kind of like it in the moon, but I got that for $2. And then these were really interesting clip-ons. I don't know if you, how well you can see, but there is a, um, like a three-dimensional piece that goes out over the top. And they were super interesting. And so I paid $2 for those and just thought they were, those were just really fancy. So I do still sell a lot of clip-ons. I say that in every video. So if you're watching because you're interested in things to sell, I think that you would be surprised by how many people still buy clip-on earrings. 
Um, in some cases, people like them. Like these are not heavy, but a lot of the heavier earrings that I'll sell from the 80s and 90s sell in clips because people just can't wear them. They'll just stretch their ear holes out. So, so then I also got, these are my three of my favorite pieces that I got. And I can't really tell you which one is my favorite, is my most favorite. So I got this little um, spider. He is missing an arm. You can see. I only, I did pay $5 for him. Um, but I still think he's pretty fabulous. It is a shoulder brooch, so you can see how the legs kind of um, hang out like that. So it would go on my shoulder, and I would probably put the missing leg to the back. So I don't know that anybody would ever notice. Oh, if I drop it, I'd be missing another leg. Um, but that was just a really, really pretty piece. And I love Halloween. Um, and I thought that would be really fun, even on like a black turtleneck, to put just on your shoulder. So couldn't pass that up. So from the same um, booth that I got that, I also picked up this beautiful butterfly and you can see it is very large, um, definite statement brooch. I thought this was really interesting because if you could, it's probably hard to see on the antenna, but there are two little prong set green stones. Um, and I just thought, I don't know, I just thought it was a really nice piece. I did, for me, I paid up for this. I paid 10 bucks and that is a lot for me to pay for something that, I know it isn't gold or silver or anything, but it just, it literally took my breath away and I had to have it. So that's that. And then my very last piece, and I don't know if it's my favorite, but I feel like it was probably one of my best deals that I got of the day. I picked up this sterling silver. I have no idea what the stone is. We started kind of trying to research it, um, but it is cold to the touch. So I do think it is an actual stone. It is stamped sterling. It does test positive for sterling. Um, and it does have a maker's mark on the back that we're going to research and try to figure out. But I did pay just a dollar for this. So I felt like that was my deal of the day, so to speak. So that was my little haul from this weekend. I feel like I got some good stuff. Maybe not as much to sell, which is okay because I have plenty. Um, but some great stuff for me and some interesting stuff for sure. So please, if you have any information on anything, especially maybe somebody out there knows what the stone is, save me some research and time. Um, or might be familiar with the designer on this brooch because it is unmarked. Um, I am happy for any tips um, or any information that you may have. If you liked what you saw, please, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I'm really working to grow my YouTube channel. And I really appreciate all the interaction that I get. So thanks so much for watching. And I hope to see you soon with another haul video. Or maybe I'll show you some of the stuff I sell so you know that I'm not living in squalor in a hoarder house because I keep all this stuff. Have a good one. Bye.